Hey, thanks for coming to our YouTube channel. I'm Landon, and this channel is all about what you can do at home to save you a little bit of money if something happens with your Apple device. Today, we're gonna to show you how to factory reset your MacBook. This will also work on iMacs and Mac Mini, so pay attention if you have either. Now, this reset will only work on Intel MacBooks. So if you have an i3, i5, i7, or i9, that's the only way this is gonna work. I'll go ahead and link the M1 reset in the description below, but for now, this video is for Intel. The first thing that you want to do is fully power off your device. After the device has been powered off, you want to wait about one minute and then you can follow these steps. Press and hold the command on the left side of the spacebar and the letter R. While holding that, you want to press and release the power button. Continue holding the command and R buttons. The Apple logo will appear with the loading sign. Once the loading sign appears, you can release. The loading bar will finish in three to five minutes, so be patient. Once the loading bar is complete, you'll see these options right here on the screen. Restore from Time Machine Backup, Restore Mac OS, Safari, and Disk Utility. You're going to want to click on Disk Utility. The next thing you're going to want to do is erase the computer entirely. Click on the Macintosh HD or whatever your hard drive name is currently named. Then you want to select View and Show All Devices. Now remember, once you delete this hard drive, everything on the computer will be permanently deleted. Click Erase, you can rename your hard drive and then click Erase again. This will normally take 45 seconds to a minute and then it will say complete or done. Once the job is complete, you can just click done. You want to then connect your computer to the Wi-Fi. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, then you can install the Mac operating system. Press continue. Apple will give you their terms and conditions so you can read through those and then press agree. Press agree again and select the drive which you are to install the Mac operating system. It is very smart to connect your device to power while this is happening, but for this case, we're not going to, but normally you should. This is currently saying that it's going to take 25 minutes, but Apple's time is a lot longer than it should be, so I would expect one to one and a half hours. Once the operating system is loaded onto the computer, it will then install to the computer. The computer will shut down and then restart again with an Apple logo and a loading sign. After you select the drive, you're going to press continue and your operating system will now install. This sometimes can take anywhere from one to three hours, depending on what operating system and year of computer that you're working with. Let your computer do its thing. It's going to take a little bit of time, but at the end, you're going to have a factory reset computer. Your computer will shut down and you'll see the Apple logo loading once again. After the Apple logo loads, you'll see a new screen. It'll let you select your country, your Wi-Fi, and your language. This means that you have successfully reset your entire computer. Great job. If you're unable to get your computer to factory reset, visit your local repair store or go to our website and you can send it in so we can do it the right way the first time. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us. But while you're here, make sure you subscribe to our channel because more than likely you're going to need us in the future.